methods or how I use hypothesis as I research and read and mo most importantly, write uh, online. Uh, I had a couple people send along an email asking for clarification on this. So once again, we're using Hypothesis. Uh, I have it. I'm already saw, uh, logged in. I created an account. I have videos on this elsewhere. Um, when you're using Hypothesis, once again, I'm in Chrome. I use the little bookmarklet or the, the extension for Chrome. Um, so one of the things I like is I can read online and as i'm reading i can mark up and annotate and take notes as i'm reading so i'm working on a pub right now uh, as we speak it'll be a uh, a publication at some point but then as we work on this there's a series of google docs and blog posts so i'm thinking about uh youth and advocacy and activism and so i'm reading a number of pieces you can see this is a pdf so i can read through and i can basically say okay well i like the way i can Oh, hold on a sec. I can click on that, turn on hypothesis. It'll reload the PDF for me. I can see that it says hypothesis is running here. Uh, it shows the Chrome extension basically taking over with the doc. I can see over here, I have the slide out bar for hypothesis. I can make sure that I'm signed in. So what I can do is I can basically say, okay, well, I really like the way that they call these social and cultural technologies. And I can annotate this. I can say, I like this framing. Uh, I'm gonna add tags to it. So I'm gonna say youth, I'm gonna say advocacy. You can see what I'm typing. And I'll just say technology. Um, and then also for some of my classes, I ask students to write, type in CFC edu uh, just for, to keep my students all uh, in the loop and seeing what everybody else is writing. So one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that this is posted to public and not only me. Uh, that's very important for this right now. So I can go find a different piece. And once again, this is a PDF, the first one. The second piece is a web page. Same thing. It's treating it the same way. Um, this is from Pew Research. I can zoom in a little bit to make it easier for you to see. So hypo hypothesis is on. Once again, I can see this bar sliding out. Um, I can basically scroll through. And then I can find some, I can mark up, come on. I can mark this up, hit annotate, and just say this is something I might want to fold in. Once again, I'm going to mark this up. Tags are basically uh, descriptors or categories that I like to add to these comments to make sure that I can find them all elsewhere uh, later, but then also other people can find them. So I'll say advocacy, I'll say youth, uh, technology, I'll say education. Uh, once again, I'll say CFC edu, post it to public once again. Uh, moving along, this is a Word doc that's uploaded to a, a website. I can basically pull this in um, once again, click that little hypothesis button. It's going to reload that Word doc. I can see that it's pulling it in through hypothesis. I can also see that it is loaded up over here. Keep in mind, we did a PDF first, then a web page. Now we're into a Word doc. As long as it's online and it's in your browser, you can use Hypothesis to mark it up. So I know that as I'm reading online and annotating, I'm going to find numerous sources in here. Um, so one of the things that I am interested in is the opportunity for action and activism in cyberspace. So I'll say advocacy. Uh, also interested in the way they bring like the, the mental health and the social economic benefits of this, but I can add that at a later date. So I'll say youth, once again, advocacy. And I'm also going to add that CFC edu again, just so that this is a group. So, I mean, these are keywords or tags that deal with the topic. 
But then I also, I'm using that CFC edu as a grouping tag so that people that follow that um, can basically see what I'm marking up and, how, and annotating over time. So I'm gonna hit post to public. So now I have three different documents, three different types of documents all on the same uh, topic. I've already gone online and searched for these things. Um, I could go into Google now and start up another search. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Hypothesis and if I am logged in, let me just start at the very beginning in case people get lost. So I'm back at the main page for Hypothesis. I'm going to click the login link. I'm obviously already logged in, but now I can see the last couple markups or the annotations that I have just made. So if I click on it, I can see this link. I can see where the, the annotation was made. It was in a Word doc. I can see the tags that were all there. Um, what I want to be able to do now is I want to be able to cite this in my work. So what I can do is I can grab this link, share the annotation. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to copy this link here. Okay. So all I did was I clicked on the share button and I can copy it. Now I, I saved all of these as public. So it should be, it should allow me to share this out publicly with others. So if I basically open up a new tab here and, and paste it in, it should bring me right to that annotation. If it's not letting you share it, then there's something wrong with either not adding a tag or not being public. But in order to share that link right to the content that you marked up, you have to make sure that it is public and you have to make sure that it is uh, tagged. Uh, I've learned that uh, through a lot of trial and error. So you could see all I did was copy in that link. So if I wanna bring people right to that link, what I can do is, so here is a Google Doc. I'm using it with a couple colleagues to write up a piece now. I can go in, and this piece was about advocacy and, and youth. I can basically take this document that's in Google Docs, and I can say, uh, you know, let's take this, and I want to cite that. Uh, I want to, you know, add that citation to a line uh, that doesn't really help cite this line, but you get the point. So let's say I want to take this document, this specific line, okay, this markup and annotation, I want to make that my citation. What I can do is just go into my Google Doc. I can highlight the link. This is a little bit too long. Uh, let's just make it here because it makes a little bit more sense. So I can highlight that. I can add a hyperlink. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that link. So now if I'm reading through, I can click on this and it will bring me right back to this page. So that's what I'm doing in my writing is when I research, I will go through PDFs and Word docs and web pages. I'll mark up and annotate everything in hypothesis, things that I want to share publicly. Let's say this is, you know, this is the start of a blog post. So I'll write it out in Google docs. I will put the markups and annotations or I'll basically leave a link to go out to that specific line. And then I can basically show people how to get to that. Um, so once again, this is basically all in hypothesis. This is a powerful tool for me to be able to research and then pull all of that uh, research into my writing. Um, and it's a way for me to keep track of what I'm reading and researching online. Um, and so, I mean, here's this markup. I can go in, I can click on youth. And now I can see what other people have tagged as youth. So here's other citations that people have marked up throughout the last seven days or beyond. These are things that people marked up and they tagged as youth. So I can also go in and this helps me as a researcher. I can go in and I can look at okay, what are other people tagging as advocacy right now? Maybe they're finding things that I haven't been able to find uh, throughout time. So not a lot on advocacy right now, but then in terms of the, the last tag I had, the grouping tag, I can click on that link, that CFC edu that we're using. You can use whatever tag that you want. 
Um, but this is a way for me to keep in touch with my students and colleagues, those of us that are at CFC in, in the ed department. I can go back and see, okay, what are our students? What are you know different individuals marking up and annotating over time? So these are all public annotations and markups. So I can see this one, understanding by design paper, there's four annotations uh, in there uh, from students of mine right now. So once again, this is taking a look at uh, hypothesis. This is a tool that I use as I research and read online. And it's a very easy way for me to pull those markups and those annotations into what I write. Usually it starts off um, in Google Docs. I'll write in Google Docs and I'll share that out. And this will become a blog post or a publication. But basically hypothesis allows me to show my colleagues and also keep track of uh, what I'm reading uh, and researching over time to make it a little bit easier to prove a point. So uh, if you like any of the things that I've shared here, uh, most of this uh, I explain in greater detail up on my website, which doesn't want to load my, right now. There we go. Um, so you can follow along on my website. I'll share many more, uh, much more of this sort of information. And then also, uh, by all means, please subscribe to my newsletter. Just basically drop your email in there and you can follow along and videos like this and also blog posts. Uh, you'll keep track on all the stuff that I've been doing. So thanks a lot. And hopefully that helps answer a lot of the questions that you have.